Frank and I got a hot lead, a guy named Pat Regis. This is a really good friend of Bill's. He said he had early motorcycles. Are you sure you got the address right on this? I mean, this looks awfully commercial. This is the last place Frankie and I would expect to find good picking. I mean, this is not an area that we would be into freestyle. Okay, here it is. Wow. Boom, we're off the strip, we're in a house. Awesome. I'm hoping Bill called this dude. Let's hit it. All right. There he is. Let's see if this guy. Hey, you Pat? I am. Hey, I'm Mike. This is Frank. How you Hello. doing? How you doing? Did Bill doing? call you? Um, oh, you're okay. Uh, we're yeah, the guys. Did. Yeah, yes, Bill. Yes, he did. did he tell you we're coming over? He said that, but I thought you might have called first. Oh, he never gave us your number. He just gave us your address. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, do you have any time uh, right now? Real Chris. quick. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? This is a 1910 Royal Pioneer motorcycle. There's only four known to exist. Can I make you an offer on it? 35,000. So Mike throws up 35K and I'm like, whoa, whoa. I will sell that to you for 60 grand. I was having a code brown moment there for a second. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was starting to run down my leg. I'd come up to $40,000. 55,000. I can't pull the trigger on that. I'm sorry. I can't do that, man. I mean, I appreciate it, man. Okay, okay. If nothing right. else, we made a great contact here with a killer collection. And if we keep in touch with this guy, maybe somewhere down the line, we can get together on something. Just not today. What, take care. Take care now, Pat. Okay. I'm kind of, I'm glad I didn't sell it. <laughs> and I know that sounds stupid, but I, I'm glad I got it. See you, Pat. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Care. Thank you. So far, this pick's going great. How about this guy? How about 2,500? That's fun. Something is definitely up with Mike. I got my mind back on the Pioneer situation. You back on that already? I haven't got off of that. Get your mind on this. What about the whistleblower guy? It needs a new belt sheet. Uh -huh. It's missing a rim. Okay. How about 300 for what we got going here? Things like that. I mean, basically, it needs assembly. I can do three and a quarter. Thank you. You got it. I don't know what the problem is. This place is amazing. I just bought 35 toys. I'm absolutely destroying it here. 55 grand? Yeah, it's a Royal Pioneer. Yeah, well, that would be the biggest thing we've ever bought. I know. Okay, well, I mean, if that's what you want, then I'm on it. So Mike gave me a mission. Free up as much money as I can so it's at least possible for him to buy this Royal Pioneer that he just found. So it's time to look through our budget, find some items we can cut back on. That guy was awesome. Dude, he had everything I liked, the motorcycle toys, everything. All right, wait a second here. I got a voicemail from Danielle. Hey, Mike, it's Danny. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I contacted the bank and I worked some magic. And if you still want to pull the trigger on this whole thing, it is now possible. You're welcome. What? You have yourself a good day. Bye. So you called Danielle behind my back and was like, hey, I don't care There's what no Frankie says. back. I talk to Danielle all the time. I'm just doing my job, business 101. If you're going to spend the money, make sure it's there before you spend the money. And I'm always thinking about plan B, Frank. It sounds like you're thinking about you getting the bike. Frank's getting all huffy about it a little bit. He thinks I'm going behind his back. But at the end of the day, Danny just made it possible that I can buy the bike. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to think about this thing anymore unless I call Jersey John. Jersey John's a close friend of mine. This is a guy that specializes in the restoration and the preservation of pre-1915 motorcycles. I've been doing business with him for 15 years. Jersey. John. I got two words for you. Royal Pioneer. Wow. Whoa. John, it's 55,000. Listen, you call cops for idiots. Go down and get that bike, man. Or this guy changes his mind, and then you guys are going to be out. We're just looking for like $92,000 a couple of years ago. When Jersey John said, hey, guys, this is a no-brainer, I was thinking, you know what? Let's go for it. You better hope that Pat hasn't changed his mind. God. So we're going back to Pat's house to try to buy the Royal Pioneer. But just because the funds are there to buy the bike doesn't mean the guy's going to sell. I know I got talked into this deal, but now I'm starting to get excited. If we can get this done, this is going to be the biggest purchase we've ever made. Come on in. When Mike and Frank were here before, we couldn't get together on the price. So I was a bit surprised, but um, I didn't really know what to expect. OK. When I left here, I was at 40K. I'll come up to 52. I'm not going to go any less than 55. OK. Mike has a, a real passion. That's probably the only reason that it's gone. 
plus the money, but. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it. Home. It just goes to show, man, that every little lead can count as something, and you never know what you're going to find if you chase it down. See you, buddy. You take care. Bye-bye. Yes! You got it. Did it!